What is up? What is up? Where to start? Yeah, so I wanted to take part in... What is this hand about? I wanted to take part in the Caracolt Fletcher me, myself and I. I have already, it is day six, I have already posted day one through to day five over on my Clow Crates uh, Instagram. I've just done little illustrations and stuff. Clow Crates, basically if you didn't know, is my print art brand. It's gonna keep growing. It's gonna have like stickers and all of that sort. It's coming soon. But that's basically what Clow Crates is. So I've been posting the illustrations for day one to day five over on that Instagram. So if you want to go and see them, you can. I'll put them quickly here. I was going to do an illustration for today, but then I just wanted to, I don't know. My plan kind of was to do little illustrations and also make videos. So here we are, a video. I might also still do an illustration for today over in Clow Crates, but I'm not sure. I just thought this topic might be easier to do on video as opposed to in an illustration and a quick Instagram caption. I mean, I might still post an Instagram. Uh, we shall see, we shall see. But anyway, day six for the Kerry Hope Fletcher, me, myself and I. I I really wanted to take part in this because I actually, I really like Kerry. She seems like a really nice person and I really like her video content, Um, mainly her theater stuff because not that I am like an aspiring actor or anything, but I love musical theatre and I love theatre in general but I do also love musical theatre. Musical theatre is like my my jam and I've been going to theatre since I was little. So her theatre videos are very... When I can't afford to go to the theatre it's just very nice to see the theatre stuff. But also I work in events and I've done... Uh, a lot of stage crew stuff and all that kind of jazz so working backstage at theatre shows and gigs and stuff is where my passion lies so like getting to see her backstage at theatres and musical theatre is just amazing for me because it's the backstage part of it all that I love but yes I love her theatre stuff I just wanted to take part in this so here we are I went on a little ramble a little tangent but Let's get back to it. So day six is weight, I believe. I don't really know how or exactly what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to try and make it as cohesive as I possibly can. Um, but I have a feeling I'm going to ramble. I have a feeling I'm going to ramble. And also, my hair is a little crazy because I washed it last night and just shoved it up in a bubble and... This is the outcome. But yes, wait. I'll try and make this cohesive as possible. Um, but we'll see. We shall see. Wait. Hmm. That is... I wasn't really sure what kind of line to go down with this video. But I feel like body weight is probably the most relevant to me at the moment. Um, and I just want to quickly mention I don't care what other people's weights are uh, you be whatever size you want to be that is not an issue to me and it's also not my business but weight is quite a big thing for me at the moment um, and I guess I've talked about this I think in blog posts and stuff if I can find them I will link them down below I've kind of delved slightly into it. I don't think I've made a video on it. Well, no, I haven't made a video on it. I've tried to make this video, I think, three or four times last year, but it just kept... It wasn't quite right, I don't feel like. But yeah, weight is quite a big thing for me at the moment. Um, I've always had weight issues, I guess. Um, or not feeling very confident in my body, especially since I was probably about... I want to say 15, 16. Would I say 15, 16? Mm, maybe. Maybe older. I can't quite think. Um, but right now, it's quite 
an overwhelming thing for me. I've got also other like stuff going on and I think just having issues with my body is just it's intensified that quite a bit I guess but basically in like a nutshell I'm not confident in my body mainly because I'm not confident with the size that I currently am I'm not looking to be a size whatever for because I know it's just not relevant for me because I don't think I've ever been a size 4 and I just don't think my body would do that but also I'm just not bothered about being a certain size I would just I'd like to be able to fit into the clothes I currently have which I can't currently do and it's a bit frustrating to say the least but also I just can't afford to buy new clothes basically in a nutshell in a very small nutshell that's kind of where I'm at with my weight basically I'm trying not to get too rambly but I feel like I'm going to get rambly and it's not going to make sense it's not going to be cohesive I think there's a lot of reasons why I want to tackle my weight one for confidence because my confidence is like and that's only partly to do with weight I am so freaking hot. I started this video freezing and now I'm boiling. And yeah, it's only partly to do with weight, my confidence and stuff. But also, I want to conquer my weight because I've got a lot of underlying other potential health conditions that I could get. And I don't want to get them, basically. Uh, I've got diabetes in my family. But also, another condition that I have is connected to diabetes and I don't want diabetes I'm not interested in that so that's another reason why I want to lose weight um, cancer sadly is quite a big thing in my family as well um, and if losing weight and staying healthy and all that helps ever so slightly prevent me from getting cancer as well then I I feel like that's kind of a good reason too. I feel like I have lots of motiv motives for losing weight and staying healthy and all of that stuff and that's kind of why I want to do it. Also, I just love it. I've always been an active person. Um, when I was a kid I used to do gymnastics, I did athletics, I did football, I did dance, I did so many different types of sports and I loved it. And then when you become a teenager and you've not really got friends who I guess have the same kind of interests as you when it comes to activities like that I'm not blaming my, my friends from back then because that's not their fault I just kind of slowly stopped doing it because none of my friends did it um, and I regret that <laughs> I wish I'd just continued doing all those things and that's also a reason for me now why I want to like get back to being healthy and fit and stuff because I loved doing those activities running and dancing mainly I have done dance for years and years and years I stopped when I was about 15 I think maybe younger maybe older I'm not sure and I also did running when I was younger as well I used to compete um, mainly 100, 100 meter sprints I'm not a long distance runner can't do long distance to save my life but um, 100 meter sprints is where it's at for me. I would love to be able to run again, I would love to be able to dance again. Those are kind of my main goals I guess and an easier way for me to be able to run and an easier way for me to be able to run and dance and stuff is if I lose a little bit of weight. I'm not interested in, I'm not got a size in mind at all, I just I would like to be able to fit into my clothes and I'd like to be able to do the running and the dancing that I love and I know you can be run and you can dance <coughs> I know you can run and dance no matter what size you are but yes also this wasn't meant <laughs> I'm talking about this next to my fitness clothes but that was not an intentional thing they just are still hanging up here I need to put them back in my wardrobe 
I think I know at the end of the day as well though, even though my body confidence is like down here. It's not a big deal. I know that. And I'm also not interested. I don't, I don't not try to lose weight or like get healthier or whatever for other people. Um, I've never really cared what other people think about me. That's their own thoughts and that's fine. You carry on. And I also know that my boyfriend slash fiance doesn't care either. He's quite happy, whatever size I am. And that's again, not doing it for him either. This is solely for me. And I think that's the only way it can be. I think it can only be for you. You shouldn't do it. You should do it only for yourself. And I generally believe that's the only way you can kind of do it. And the only way you should do it. I feel like this video is such a little ramble. I think my body confidence is just lowered and I've kind of focused quite a lot on, I was going to say weight, I guess, but I'm not really one for weighing myself <laughs> because I've had a lot of other things going on, especially over the past year, that it's, it's taken a toll on me and I think that's also why I've put a lot of weight on. Um, but there's also just, I feel like, <laughs> not to use this word again because I know it's the topic of the video, but it, I don't need to use the word throughout the whole video. But it's like everything's such a weight on my shoulders and I just, I'm feeling a bit crushed, you know. And I know that my weight and my health and my fitness is the one thing that I can control. Everything else that's kind of weighing me down isn't within my control, but my fitness and my health is something that I can control myself and I can improve on and again I don't care what other size people are that's up to them that yeah they can do what they want this isn't me judging other people or saying that other people should lose weight I just I love being active and I'm a little hindered at the moment because of the weight that I am and I want to get back to all the stuff that I love and I know that it'll be easier for me if I'm a little bit lighter. Only like a little bit. I don't really know what else, I mean there's a lot I can talk about and I might do a more in depth like blog post potentially. But um, and I might write an Instagram post potentially if I do an illustration I've got to just think of what to do for the illustration but I, I like this word and this word was it's been quite a big thing for me especially lately um especially with the summer coming up like I'm getting chafed <clears throat> so bad and I'm not used to this level of chafing and it's painful so this has been quite a big thing for me and it's quite, been quite a focus because I am going to the gym, I am going to the gym and weight training, again weight, is quite a big thing for me at the moment, I'm loving it and if you want to see my fitness journey then I do have a fitness Instagram, it's down below, you can follow that if you want, you don't have to, um, I'm just having fun on it with my boyfriend. Um, so you can come check that out if you like. If not, that's absolutely fine. It's no biggie. I think with weight and weight in the body sense, it's all about what you're comfortable with. Yeah, I think that's it for now, maybe. Anyway. <laughs> um It's quite a hard topic, I guess, and I think I might do a more in-depth blog post on all of this, potentially. Um and maybe I'll do an illustration for today as well. You might see that over my Instagram. I might do one. I've got to think of an illustration to do. And maybe I'll write a little blog, po uh, like a little Instagram description. Um, and it'll be a little bit more cohesive than this was. I don't feel like I really explained what I was trying to talk about very well. Uh, or got a point across. I don't think there was a point in this video at all. But um, yeah. I think that's about it. <laughs> um, 
I don't think I've ever filmed a video and uploaded it on the same day. Crazy. But I do have another couple of videos coming up soon. Um, another studio vlog. Um, and that's about it. So I will see you during the week. Bye.